This is gonna be a different video. It's really freeing. Hi! Uh, yeah, I am coming out of the closet because I am queer. I just want to say happy pride. I hope you all are well and you are celebrating whether you are out or not. My coming out process has been a pretty long one, to be honest, and at least in my opinion, it feels like it's been pretty long. I just want to help at least one person. I think it is a disservice if you are not your authentic self in this world and people need your light to shine. So let's get right into it. They've been trying to come out for so long. <laughs> It's been so long. Are you sure you really want to be who you are with everyone in the world? Yeah, freaking sure. Because I feel so much happier being my authentic true self. I'm finally letting go of all the shame. I'm finally releasing every homophobic thing that has been said around me or to me. I'm letting go of that because it lives rent free in my brain. I'm letting go of what religion has told me my entire life and the shame that me just being who I am has brought with that. I'm finally me. I finally feel so free. And I'm happy. So you might be asking, Kristen, you identify as queer, what does that mean? What is your sexuality? What is your identity? Please elaborate. So when I say I'm queer, I am somewhat on this spectrum, this sliding scale of sexuality. I'm not gay, but I'm not straight. I am somewhere in between, and it's definitely been a process of navigating and figuring out what that is. I used to identify as bi, or bisexual, but I don't identify with that for various reasons, just because I've realized my romantic and physical attraction are different and they are not one and the same, which I know can be very confusing for people that are outside of the community, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. That's just how I am and how my attraction is towards people. My sexuality has been a long time coming. <laughs> I mean, I've been questioning that for a long time, probably since middle school. I didn't really understand that sexuality could be fluid. So it's all fluid and, you know, hip hip hooray for fluidity. Queer is a great umbrella term for me and for a lot of people. So Kristen, did you know forever, like, why did it take you this long? So I didn't know for a long time. I genuinely thought I was straight for a long period of time. And I think it's just because of my fluidity and also because of how I was raised. I grew up Catholic and obviously when you grow up in a religion, there are sometimes very negative things that come up about sexuality and all of that. Luckily, there was nothing like you're going to hell or anything like that, but it was like, you can be gay, you just can't act on it. You just can't get married in the church and da da da, which is still not good and I could get into that for a whole other day. But there are some people that know when they're three years old. And then there are some people where it just takes a long time to figure it out. And it took me a long time to figure it out. Like, it, there's a lot of different factors that play into it. I mean, some people are married, have children, and then finally come out and realize, oh my gosh, I'm a lesbian, or oh my gosh, I'm pansexual, or whatever it may be. Like, there's a lot of things that play into it. And what's also confusing in terms of fluidity is that I knew I wasn't gay because I had feelings for guys, so I just assumed I was straight. But I was more than straight, and I was not gay. I was somewhere in between this sliding scale of sexuality, and I think that's what really made it confusing for me because I had never even had that aha moment until I had a friend come out to me as bi in college. I had never heard of bisexual for the longest time. I had never heard of people being pansexual. I had never heard of people being fluid in any way in terms of gender or sexuality. So I just thought it was one way or the other. So then I just assumed I was straight because I had had crushes and feelings on guys until college. <laughs> 
You just said you didn't know until college, Kristen, but how did you know? When did you know? So I didn't figure it out until my senior year of college. Now, of course, there was like a lot of questioning beforehand and like, why do I feel different about some things? And why am I into this person and da da da. But it took my friend coming out to me as bi to have that aha moment and for it to click in. And she came out to me as bi and I was like, oh, oh, this makes sense. For some reason, it took me that long to figure it out. And that was my senior year of college. I'm so grateful that she came out to me as bi and we also dated for a little bit and it was just very validating for me. Like everything just made sense in that moment. However, I don't identify as bi anymore, but that really made sense for me in terms of fluidity. Oh my gosh, you can be fluid. It definitely doesn't have to have a label either. Like you can just be somewhere on the spectrum of sexuality and that's good. That's a thing. It does exist. Other people are like you. It just made sense. Kristen, you figured it out on your own and you came out to yourself in a small group of friends in like 2015. Why did it take you so long to like come out to other people in your life and to like come out on the internet? Here's the thing, I was not ready to come out. The relationship I talked about before, which I just wasn't ready. And there's very, there are things that I regret doing at that time because I wasn't ready to come out. I wasn't accepting of myself. I wasn't proud of myself yet in that moment. And I was very fearful of what everyone else thought of me. And I wasn't fully content within myself yet because I was still figuring it out and it was still so new to me. And I wasn't ready to just jump into the deep end and say, yep, this is it, let's go. I needed a lot of time to process and figure things out. So it took me a while. It took me, what, six years? <laughs> took me six years from the time I came out to myself and a small group of friends until I came out to my dad, until I came out to other family members. Um, and like extended family members haven't even talked about this with. So like if they find out through this video, what's up family? And if they don't, then they'll just find out eventually. But I also don't feel like I have to come out to like every single person in my life. Coming out is for the person coming out. It's not to inform your family and your friends and neighbors and whatever. It's for yourself. If you want to come out to people, come out to people. It is so freeing, very freeing for me, but I know for other people, it's the opposite. Okay, Kristen, I'm a little bit confused. You said you came out as bi in 2015, but now that's changed and you identify as queer. Like, how did that change? Sometimes, in my opinion, I don't think you know yourself enough to know what your sexuality is. Sometimes you just don't know. First of all, I didn't make the connection of bisexuality until college, so keep that in mind. And then I didn't really even understand that you can have a different physical attraction to a different emotional and romantic attraction. So then that was a whole other thing to unpack. So I realized over time that my romantic attraction was different from my sexual attraction. And like, there is some overlap there, but that was also very confusing as well because I only thought that there was bisexuality and pansexuality. Like I didn't know there could be a disconnect between emotional and physical attraction. So over time, as I explored and discovered more bits and pieces of myself, I really figured it out. And I've been in more long-term relationships with straight cis men before. So that's also been kind of confusing to figure that out and put the pieces together. And especially in those relationships, you're straight passing. And I think that's really hard for people that are attracted to more than one gender. It feels a little invalidating if you look like a straight couple, even though a person in that relationship is not straight. It's very hard. And so just a reminder, if you are pan or bi or fluid, you are very valid. Your feelings are very valid. And you also can celebrate pride, of course. 
So Kristen, why did you need to tell us this? Like, does it really even matter? Yeah, it does matter a lot. I really needed to come out to let you all know who I am. And if it helps one person, that's enough for me. And I think that's great. And it's just so important to celebrate all of our differences and all of our uniqueness and lift each other up. We don't all have to be the same, look the same, feel the same, behave the same. We can all be different humans and all be celebrated for who we are. And I just think it's so beautiful to celebrate love and gender. And it's just a great thing. Let's celebrate who we are as human beings. And I know this is cheesy. I say in therapy, I'm like, I'm breaking free from the chains of like the box I had to put myself in growing up. And now I like have my wings and I'm flying. Anyways, super cheesy. I know I am a crazy cheese ball over here, but it's so important to come out if you want to come out and it's so important to celebrate yourself and this is my way of saying i am finally proud of myself and i have released all the shame that i have been holding on to myself and i have released all the homophobia that i have ever encountered in my life and holy cow it has been a journey i've had to do a lot of unlearning and learning new things and i haven't been this happy in so long and it's just nice to be seen and to be heard for who you are because when you feel like you're putting on this act for other people to make other people comfortable around you rather than making yourself happy and making yourself comfortable it destroys you and it destroyed me mentally and through this pandemic i've been able to do a lot of reflection and i've been able to really figure out what my sexuality is and what my identity is and who i am it's always been in there it's just taking off all the layers and sometimes it takes a while for some people it is so worth it to be happy it is so worth it to be who you are. I promise. So happy pride, everyone. You are loved and accepted by me. Trust me, I am trying to always advocate for everybody. Everyone deserves an ally, so I, I try to be a good ally. I know I'm still working on it. So this is my coming out video without like sharing my full story because it is more personal, but that's that's the main gist. There's no look to queer people, but I also know my privilege as a cis white woman in this community. And I always want to uplift BIPOC voices. I want to uplift trans voices, especially with all of the anti-trans bills in the United States right now. If you are living in a state that has an anti-trans bill, you have work to do as an ally. We got work to do. All are welcome on this channel as always, and we are always going to lift each other up. So happy Pride Month. I know this video is different, but I really felt like I needed to share what was in my heart, as cheesy as that is. And maybe some of you can relate to this and some of you are in the community as well. So yeah. Hope you guys are well and I will see you soon. I'm working on that sunscreen review video, the zero waste sunscreen review video. So stay tuned for that and I will see you next time. Bye. And if you have kids, it's never too early to teach them about love and acceptance and how different families look different and that's okay. And we should all be loved, celebrated and appreciated. So yay. Okay, that's, that's it. Bye.